Do you have difficulty covering the whole court when you are playing badminton? Do you sometimes feel like it's impossible to do so? In this video, I'll be teaching you some drills so that you can do this fluidly and with ease. Hi, I'm Coach Kenya Sunshon and I've been a professional badminton coach for many years. If you're new here in this channel, this is all about helping you improve your badminton game. I make videos on different aspects of badminton, from executing shots well to having a good mindset when playing. Covering the entire court can sometimes feel so hard to do when you are playing such a fast sport like badminton. But you can absolutely achieve this if you work on having the proper footwork. This is the most basic drill for covering the whole court. We call this the shadow play. The shadow play is basically doing the footwork in every part of the court. So it's a combination of the front, the middle, and the side, making you, allowing you to cover the whole court as much as possible. Now, there are different speeds in doing this, so it's also helpful for even beginners to do so. And a lot of um, competitive athletes use this as a warm-up before an actual game. So doing the shadow play has a lot of purpose. It's to better your footwork. One, you can also use it as a warm-up. You can also use it to work on the speed of your game. Now, you see two people doing the shadow play. In this scenario, you see one person leading and one person following. So, you, they're doing it like a mirror image. So, what's good about this is you have a partner who is doing a, a, a certain type of, you know, a certain speed which you need to follow and be able to get to as fast as you can. So, a good way of changing and making your speed a little faster is to have a partner do the shadow play with you. Again, it is a full coverage of the court. You will notice that the players hardly stand up. Another variation is the quick feet in the middle and then as soon as the coach points, the player immediately moves out to take the shot. This is also good for reflexes. So, again, you progress to more and more. So, a while ago, it was just simple shadow play. This time, it's the quick feet and shadow play. But notice that when you do the whole court footworks, make sure that your body is upright, is straight up. I'd like to say, picture as though there is a um, glass of water on your chest so that you don't keep going down, especially for lunges in front or in the mid-court area. Do your best to keep an upright position. Always squat all the time. You'll see that knees are bent because, well, simply because you are able to move from the middle going out when your knees are bent as opposed to standing up. Another drill is what we call the shuttle run. Shuttle run is putting the shuttle on every corner of the court. So again, you cover the entire court by putting shuttles in front, on the sides, and at the back. Now this one, you can work on the speed. And you can actually have someone time it. So there you have a gauge of how fast you can go, or if, if you're not doing too well, then and you just wanna get accustomed to the footwork, this is also a good drill to do. You will notice that even when the player is lunging, they try to keep their upper body as much as possible, slightly bending only. Truly, covering the whole court is a constant practice. You have to keep practicing until such time that your footwork is enough already. So this is another kind of drill, similar to the shadow play, but this time there is a coach that's actually throwing the shuttle which makes it faster and you have to catch it. So again, 
we are adding more. There is a hand, you know, hand and eye coordination to get the shuttle. You have to catch it. So there's another aspect to it aside from, you know, covering the whole court. So this multitasking sort of is really a good way for the player to get better. Of course, this is the classic multi-shuttle of doing the whole court. This is of course the best because actually there's an actual shuttle coming to you. And of course, the speed will be catered to you. So as coaches, um, as for me personally, when I do this uh, drill for my players, when I feed it to them, it depends on who's doing it and how much faster it goes. And of course, the variety, the kind of shot. So this is the actual, you will feel like you're in the game. So it will make your footwork faster, it will make it better. It touches all aspects of covering the whole court. From the good footwork, to your speed, to your quick reflexes. So this is all about practicing. Again, I'd like to stress that you have to have your knees bent. In that way, you can move easily. Now, how low you go for a squat depends on how comfortable it is for you. Of course, I will not advise you to go very, very low in a squatting position when it becomes harder for you to move. You are only in a squatting position simply because it makes you move faster out of your base. So in drills, when you practice, make sure to go back to the middle after you hit a shot. That way, it becomes a habit. The base, your base, is the middle area. If you like playing doubles, the video on your screen will teach you some drills so that you can improve your game with your partner. Catch my next video so you can level up your game and be the next smashing success.